Good morning, everyone. In today's lecture of production management, we will take up the important topic that is work study. Work study means identifying any work where the improvement can be brought. If all the activities are going in a smooth manner, then still there is always a possibility that improvement could be done. So, identifying the appropriate work or a job or a activity where the manager thinks the improvement could be done. So, this lecture is going to help us in understanding that how the work study has to be applied. In work study, as you are also aware, that we are supposed to take up certain techniques which will help us in identifying the work and then the effort will be made for bringing some improvement in that work. So, students, in today's topic, we will take up work study. Work study is basically a topic purely of production management or we can say as operation management. Nowadays, we call it as business operations also. In any manufacturing concern, every company try to adopt the best method for performing their operations. With the process of the method, the outcome is received and that provides satisfaction to the company as well as the ultimate consumers. But here itself, the research do not stop. Every company has the aim that whatever the method they are adopting, there should be continuous analysis and research on that method. Either the method can be best or that method can bring or that method can be improved in some aspect. The basic idea behind work study is to make use of the best method for operation of the various activities in production which eliminates the wastages so that the productivity is increased. If we talk about the aim of the work study, aim of the work study is to increase the productivity, eliminate the wastages and to bring less fatigue, less restlessness in the activities of the company. That means every business want that whatever the method they are adopting, is there any possibility of bringing any improvement in that method which can increase the productivity, which can increase the performance of material, equipment and can reduce the wastages, which can make the manpower more challenging so that more enthusiastic so that they are able to bring the best output. In work study also help us in determining the standard time that a qualified worker must take in performing the activities. A qualified worker means a worker which is having experience, education and sound in all respect. That worker take, the, the time taken by that worker will be considered the standard time. That means other employees will be measured on the basis of the time taken by the standard worker. Basically, work study can be said as a tool in the hand of management for achieving more productivity. And as you are aware, when we talk about any manufacturing company, 
then there are many activities which can be measured in terms of time. But there are many activities which are to be performed with the body parts. We can say as motion of the body. So work study will help us in measuring and bringing the improvement with respect to motion study as well as time study. Means with the help of various techniques and tools of work study, we will able to study the motion involved in the operation of the production activities as well as the time involved in carrying out the various activities and the operations of the company. We are able to measure both. Both are being recorded. Because until and unless we have not done research on the existing method, it is not possible that we can bring any improvement in the existing method. Always it doesn't happen that the method is not good. The method may be very good, but still the scope of improvement is always existing. So this topic is going to help us in having the study over the various operations which are being taken up in a manufacturing company or production company or service company. And the effort will be made to study all those motions, all those time taken by the various operation and to bring improvement. Either the existing method can be improved or a new method can be installed. So that cost is reduced, productivity is increased, wastage is avoided and overcoming the maximum fatigue or restlessness in doing the various activities. We can also discuss work study with the help of a simple definition which help us in understanding the concept of work study like and you can see on the screen work study is a generic term for those techniques particularly the method study and work measurement what here we are saying in work study there are two techniques two methods or two ways of doing the work work study first is the method study and second is the work measurement. Method study and work measurement, you can say they are the two techniques, two tools of work study, which help in studying the motion as well as the time of the various operations which are being taken up. Method study help in understanding the motions involved in doing the activity and work measurement helps in studying the time involved in carrying out a particular activity. Work study is a systematic examination of activities in order to improve effectiveness and use human and other resources. This is what we have said just now. That we are trying to study the systematic exam. We are trying to study the existing method with the help of a systematic examination for bringing the improvement so that effective use of resources and human being could be done. The famous concept which has been given by International Labour Organization. Technique of method study and work measurement. What is work study? In work study we have techniques, method study and work measurement which are the employed, which are employed to ensure the best possible use of human and material resources, best possible use it, how we can make the best use of human resource and material resource. Work study is a tool or a technique, what I said, of management involving the analytical study of job and operations. 
it help in the study to increase means basically all the effort lie in this in increasing the productivity and when we say increasing the productivity it means the input is not in increased the input remains the constant but the output has to be increased so in nutshell in nutshell what we can say that the aim of the work study is to determine the best method of performing each operations and to eliminate the wasted that means to find out the best method eliminate the wastage and so that the production increases with less fatigue whatever the output we are getting there should be less restlessness it also determine the standard time that a qualified worker should take in performing a normal activity the basic concept see the highlighted one they are basically helping us they are basically helping us understanding the concept in a more simplest way it is a tool in the hand of management for achieving more productivity always this word is coming in repetition form that is increasing the productivity and what we are doing it is a study of workers material and equipment simple disclose everything workers are there materials are there and equipment these are the three combination in the production activity to improve the performance and reduce the wastage right so basically again i can repeat that in work study we are making an effort to study the existing method if any so that improvement can be brought so that the existing if become obsolete can be replaced with a new method so that the best possible use of human resource material and equipment could be done so that we are able to increase the output we are able to have more productivity this is the basic logic of the work study and this has to be done with the help of two techniques one will be two technique will be involved one will be your method study and other will be work measurement these are the two techniques which we have to take up for making the better understanding of the work study now for more understanding we can take up objectives of work study this is going to make the objectives and aims as more clear we can say first of all itself we have said increasing the efficiency better product quality to choose the fastest method of doing the job to improve working process less fatigue already we have discussed effective labor control utilization of various resources to decide what equipment that we are supposed to use giving the fair wage to the various employees exact delivery realistic labor budgeting 
required manpower. That means all these, मतलब all these will help us in setting up the right goal for the work study. Again, in this aspect, what we can say advantages. In the same light itself. That means it is going to help to achieve the smooth production flow with minimum interpretation, interruptions. Reduce the cost by eliminating the waste. As you are aware, the wastage has to be eliminated. Better worker management relation because if there will be the best method which is increasing the productivity, bringing the sound environment, automatically the relationship between the worker and management will be good. We are able to meet delivery commitments. And delivery commitment basically means time, reduction in cost, and better quality. Scraps may be overcome. As you are aware, rejections and scraps, they increase the cost. Now here, rejections and, and scraps, they will be identified and they can be minimized. Better working conditions, we already discussed. Better workplace layout. Layout means, already we are aware, layout means the arrangement of tools and equipment within a specific cubic space area. So that we are able to execute the production activities in a better manner. So if we have planned everything, layout will also be better. Improve the existing process or method and help in fixing the standard and, simplific and simplifications. Standard time for doing any job will be established with the help of which the other employees will be measured. Their incentive will be fixed on the basis of the standard time taken by a qualified worker. So these will be the various objectives of the work study. Now 